Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 37 of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we had just gotten back from Kodlak's room to retrieve the final piece and finally lay the whole thing to rest. And I apologize for last episode's length. Uh, I didn't try to keep it as long as it did go, but it it's a story that really needed to be said. At least I think so. It really tells the whole companion quest line in and of itself, where it's going to be heading and whatnot. Anyway, I have to now head to Yorland, who I think is now nearing his house. Werewolf perks are earned by eating fresh corpses. Nothing is gained by eating the bodies of the undead. Each perk takes more feedings to earn than the previous one. Oop. Music change. That was drastic. But, uh, yeah, I have to head to Yorland now. Yeah. And, yeah, he should be over there now. If the little point is to be believed. What the hell spells are you doing, Yorland? The fuck? Okay. You are weird. My game is weird. I have Codlax, Codlax Fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Good. Maybe then, by then, I will learn to speak English. God damn, I can't speak it anymore. Uh, what? Hmm. What I will do is probably talk to them. And how much stuff am I carrying? Too much. I will probably need to drop some. There we go. All right, now we convene with the circle. One wish before he died, and he didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. Not really. That's fine for you, but he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. Oh, and you avenged him. Of course. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlack, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. Yeah. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You that know would the be... Legends of the tomb of That'd be nice to do for him. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. That is true. What? The dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled... I was just going to go to observe how pretty my kitty is. Um... Mean it must be. Uh... Tools are meant to be broken and repaired. It's not wrong. Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother. Yeah, I'm Some pretty cool. Can be forged the shattered. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. Fair Just enough. The one who bore the fragments. I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. Uh, Dare. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of East Coast. I'm gonna be overburdened. Or not? Oh, because it's considered a quest item right now. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Cool beans. Means I still need to drop some stuff, but it's not as drastic as I thought it was. All right, cool. Hmm. Cool beans. Now this quest will allow me to do something that is kind of cool, kind of cheap, but I kind of want to do it, so we'll complete it. And I'll get a cool sword out of it, and we'll be happy until I get up to the next 
tier of smithing, which will probably take a while. Probably a long while. So I'll just uh, wait here, drop off some of my stuff that I'm holding. Uh, I do need to visit Bellathor at his shop. And then we'll reconvene with the... Oh! I don't claim to be okay. You're just teleported there. Alright. Don't be able to apparate fucking Harry Potter here. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm fucking crazy. Uh, what was I going to drop off? Steel bolt. Uh, I'll sell you that. Because, fuck it, why not? Uh, orcish arrows, dwarven arrows... Um, is there anything I could get off of you? Anything good? No. Guess not. Dwarven metal ingots. I could use those. I could take a couple of them off your hands. And I'll sell you... Uh, I don't really want to do that. Because, if I remember correctly, the strength of the enchantment is determined by the stuff you disenchanted it from... I think? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to double check on that first, but yeah, I'm going to eventually do that. So I think I'm good on selling you stuff for now. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Fair enough, but I need to check Bellathor's shop. I'll check yours when I want your shit, which is not now. I'll head into here. Bellathor's General Goods. And we can sell those staves I've been holding on to for like nine years. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Eh? Got okay. something for just about everybody in here. I'm sure you do. Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything's for sale, my friend. Okay. Well, I will take a look. If you let me take one. Um. He doesn't have any ebony either. Ah, crap. Oh, well. I'll buy the lockpicks. Those are always necessary. And... Anything good? No. Healing. Could use those. Um... Minor deft hands. Ring of minor deft hands. He is basically everything for stealing. That is cool. But I'm just selling you these for right now. Is there anything else I need to sell you? Uh, yeah, I do need to sell you that. Although that is a cool looking circlet, emerald and gold. That does look good together. Oh, you do not have enough. Um, what can I take from you? I'll take a couple of these. Why not? I could build up my uh, stuff for that. Sell you that. Uh, sell you this. I do need to enchant those to be better. I could sell you that. Huh, and a couple scrolls. Anything else? I'm sure there's something. There's gotta be something. Otherwise, what the fuck am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> sell those. Uh, sell these. There we go. I think I'm good. Alright. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about that. Not really. He's a kind of a skeeve. Okay. Anyway, we will now head north. I think. No, I have to head home first. To uh, drop off my stuff. At my house. You know, those silver greatswords that I spent so much time picking up. Because I wanted them. You know, those ones. And this... This whole episode is me basically dropping shit off. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Many species of bear roam Skyrim's wilds. They are fearsome creatures, but will often avoid attacking unless provoked. Wee, spin it around. Become friends with someone and they may allow you to... Oh, shit. I hate it when it does that. Uh, drop off the swords here. Yeah do that drop all them off here uh woo thread kind of need to carry that for right now uh i can carry those can't i i'm pretty sure i could am i yeah i am wearing the 
sure grip one. Okay. Equip this real quick. Is there anything else I can drop off? Nothing really important. Uh, I could get rid of some leather, but I'll deal with that after. Right now, I need to deal with the uh, rebirth of Cadillac's soul. And I am not in a spot I can easily do that. Off tanned, I guess. I'll start there. <laughs> This episode will be titled, Dropping Stuff for Codlack. Because <laughs> I've basically done nothing but that for half the episode. <laughs> oh, Jeebus Hubert Christ. Okay. This is going to be a thing to get down. There's a dragon. Where's the dragon? There you are. And he's not... He's not bothering himself with me, is he? I don't think he's gonna. Still, wouldn't hurt to provoke him, would it? And damn, I missed. I don't think he's gonna bother with me. I'm too small time for him. Whoa. Didn't see this before. That's something new. Oh boy. This is going to be a little difficult to get down, I think. Maybe. Okay. There we go. Got, uh oh. Don't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh. It's wolves. <laughs> it wasn't a dragon, it was the wolves. Okay. There we go. And I'll just. Cut you down. And I'll take your soul. Thank you. Come again. Oh, come on. Let me... There we go. Probably feasting on the corpses that whatever fell down this little chasm here. Speaking of which, I've never seen this door. I want to see this door. off tanned Ruined Tower. I kind of want to go in it. Just because I've never seen it and I want to explore it. And this is icy as fuck. Oh, shit. Dwarven spider worker. Whoop. Uh-oh. Okay. That one hit the ground. Uh. Okay. I forget. Sometimes these are the greatest places to, uh, collect soul gems. Because many of the minor little electronics around here. Electronics, not really. Uh, are made of... Oh, I could use that. Basically made of the souls of the damned. Basically. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. Uh, ooh. That's an apprentice chest, but I see a big old health potion there. Which is enough to satisfy me. Whoop. Up. Okay. Fair enough. Amulet of Debella. Worthless, but I can use it for shrines and whatnot. Dwemer Bowl. Whoops, uh oh. I'm used to New Vegas controls. I was going to try and pick it up and flip it, and there's nothing in it. Yay. <laughs> Stupid. Fucking take that. Um, I'll just press the button. Oh! Oh! This thing's bigger than I expected it to be. Um... That might be difficult to go through. This is actually a lot more convoluted than I thought it was going to be. This is broken and shit. Uh, okay, run through here. Whew. That was... Ooh, I'm still on fire. Okay. Woo! Okay. That... That was very bad. And there's... Whoop. Dwarven spheres. Okay. Come on. Down you go. And I'll take the bolts. Because, you know, they're useful when I eventually have a crossbow. 
from her plates. Uh, some of the stuff I can melt down to uh, make Dwemer metals, which would be good. Ooh, more, more of that stuff. Oh, so this is basically a control spot to trigger all the traps. Okay. I'll pick that up. So, a solid drum. Those weigh a lot. I'm not going to pick those up. Specifically because they weigh a lot, and I don't need all of that weight. Uh, common soul gem. Take that. Uh, those don't weigh that much, but I'll take them. Ooh, expert level. Fuck. A duck. Oh, that was a, oh, up a little bit. Fuck a doodle. There we go. More major sure grip. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now it's telling me something. <laughs> it's telling me a little thing here that it likes Tyrong and not Stray. Fuck. Okay. That messed with my head. I was seeing that spot over there. I was not seeing this guy. I heard him right next to my ear, though. Oop. Down you go. And I'll take that. Dwemer gyros for some other things later. Whoop. Four of an arrow. Can sell those. And melt those down. And just a couple more dwarven arrows. They look like they had been shot. For something. Silver ore, iron ingot, iron ore. Yeah, this is a ruined tower, all right. It doesn't seem to be leading too many places. Uh, dwarven spider, crundum ore. Well, this has been an actually decent distraction from the main quest that actually turned up something useful. Not to mention, it's a place I've never seen before. So this is cool for me. I've never even noticed this was here. Fuck a dingle hopper. Okay. There we go. Take that and that and that. Ooh, ruby necklace. Cool. Uh, another plentiful healing. Wow, this is actually being very nice to me. Large decorative strut. I don't need that. There's nothing else up there of value to me. And we'll head this way. And it keeps going up. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. This leads up further into the world. Plate metal. Uh, not taking those because they're way too much. Um, yeah. Come on, let me... There we go. I picked it up. Whew. Sometimes it's a little difficult running that. But I made it up to a spot I never knew existed. I find that cool. And... Really? This was here the whole time? I could have just visited this, visited this anytime. It's only now that I notice it's here. God damn it. I'm a big old moron. That is what I am. Whoop. Okay. I do need to devote points into... Uh, heavy armor perks. That I do need to do. I'm gonna shoot this goat. Whee! <laughs> Okay, now we'll continue on. Like we were supposed to the first time. North. East. Ish. Although I don't think that's the uh, place we're supposed to be going, because that's too far away. And yes, that is a common glitch. The door only shows it there. It, I'm aware it's a glitch, and I'm aware it does screw everything up in the HUD. But hey, I know where I'm going, which is all that matters, right? 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 Uh, maybe not. Okay. It'll be fixed soon enough, don't you worry. Once I get to a spot where I can reset myself, I'll reset it. Uh, what is this? It's a rock. 
and look different from the distance. Hmm. Maybe I can reset myself on this barrow here. Whatever this is. Wait a minute, this is... This, I know what this is. I'm not dealing with this yet. No, no, no. Not right now. Not until later. For a different quest. Oh, uh oh. This is not going to be pretty. Or maybe it is. And I'm just overly cautious. Who knows? I apparently don't. I apparently didn't know that there was that little spot there. I didn't know that there was a whole bunch of good loot in there that weighed me up to a fucking 40 pounds worth. Hold. That's a bear. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Okay. That hit nothing. Great. And come on. Hit. Kill. 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 Okay, I think the fire will kill that. What I should do is heal myself because this, uh, this friggin will not be nice to me. There we go. And I got both their souls. Cool. Take all of that, and I'll take all her stuff. And I assume this was a hunter. Yeah, this was a hunt. couple hunters, actually. That got their asses handed to them. <laughs> Very badly. Jesus Christ, dudes, you suck. Take what you got, though. Nah, I don't need all that venison. Uh, that, that, that. This, those, and I'll eat the big potatoes. Um, seems to be something over here, spiky grass. There seems to be something over here that seems to be a little angry. Wonder what it is. Oh, that's a snow fox. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm not gonna do anything to you. So you're pretty. You're cute. And we're actually getting closer to the target objective right now. So I think this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so I can talk to you guys about this game and other games so we can bring more people into this community. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.